The summer is the time to refresh and often there is space in your home that needs a refreshing. Uh, let's talk about the garage, everybody. This is usually the time of year people want to start clearing it out and organizing, but the mess can be overwhelming. So it's a good thing organization expert Megan Arthurs is here today with advice on how you can get started. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. What is the first step in tackling a garage that has been neglected. Yes, so every garage needs a thorough purge and declutter and that's exactly how we want to begin. So I like setting up a fold up table on the driveway. Oh, good idea. Yeah, so I can really assess and have a higher up surface to work on. So I take everything out of the garage and I place items on the table. And now I'm going to begin sorting and grouping items. I want to categorize items like with like categories. So all the tape together, the gardening gloves, small tools, if you have sports equipment. It's also a great idea to have a donation pile, a garbage pile, a recycling pile nearby. And we're doing this to really eliminate items from the space that we no longer need and use anymore. So we can really leverage that premium space that a garage can offer and create a nice welcoming entry to the home. Okay, like a closet, is a garage one of those places where you have to ask yourself, if I haven't used it in so many years? Yes, am I using this? Do I need this? Is this adding any value to my life from season to season? I know, because if you ask my husband, there's a lot of things in value, of value in the garage. <laughs> anyway, tools can be a big source of clutter. Everybody has their own system for organizing how they want to get it and grab it. What is the you know best advice for organizing tools? Yes, so if you have a lot of tools, I highly recommend investing in cabinetry and shelving. So, Whoa, this is beautiful. Yes, yeah, so here you see me working in a cabinetry style garage. This cabinetry- Is this really somebody's garage? Yes. This is from Garage Living, actually, the cabinetry. And all I'm doing, again, sorting tools together and then using the pull-out drawers to organize them. Now, what I like about this is that it's really eliminating visual clutter in the garage space. And now all my tools have a home to live in. I know where to find them. And you know, it's so funny. A garage is a really small footprint, but yeah. throwing in a bank of drawers, you gain so much additional storage. Okay, but that's a bank of drawers and like a granite countertop. That's that's pretty beautiful. What is the most efficient way to store things in a garage to eliminate clutter? Because it kind of becomes this big shove it in room. It does, it becomes a dumping zone. So the best way to eliminate clutter is going vertical. So you want to use the unoccupied wall space. So here I have a slat wall, which is hanging all of my items. So getting the items off the floor and on the wall. And what I like about this is the hooks and accessories that your items are hanging off of, they're all interchangeable. So the wall can really grow and adapt with your family over time and your lifestyle, hanging all sorts of items like sports equipment, golf clubs, snow shovels. I want to go hang out in that garage. <laughs> I just saw a sink and a TV. All right, how can we make sure that the garage stays organized? Because it's one thing to set it up, it's another thing to maintain it. That's an excellent question. So zoning is so critical. You want to make sure that your garage is categorized. There's different zones. So if you have to stick a label on things so you know that everything has a home, stick a label on things. Oh, sister, you don't have to tell me about the <laughs> benefits of labeling. I'm there. I know you know. <laughs> Monthly maintenance is also so critical. We don't want garage organizing to be an annual chore. Hmm. We want to definitely make sure that just like the inside of our home, we're tending to this on a monthly a monthly basis. Well, that's the tricky thing about garages in Canada, right? Because you have summer needs and winter needs. If you have a snowblower or your winter shovels, you don't necessarily need those in the summer. You got to swap them out. It's true. It's true. And I definitely say make sure that you have a function for the space. Know the purpose of the space. Identify that. Is it to park your car? Is it for storage? Maybe it's a home gym. Maybe it's a play space for your kids. When you identify the purpose of the space, you're more likely to stay organized. We do need to reorganize our garage because during COVID, it became our outdoor living mm. room so we can see people. And now it's time to make it a garage again. Megan, these are always so much fun. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a beautiful garage. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.